Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to share with you guys some awesome tips and tricks when it comes to spawn trapping on Black Ops 3. I know that a lot of you guys love to play really, really aggressive and get those enemy teams in spawn traps. Uh, but today I wanted to share with you guys a few tricks that are actually very, very useful when it comes to not only getting these spawn traps, but to be able to hold them and to keep the enemy team from breaking them. So the first thing is to run lots of UAVs and haters. And not necessarily because of the advantages, but because of the disadvantages of some of the other score streaks. With UAVs and haters and even counter UAVs, we're not really affecting where the enemy team is going to be. We're just giving ourselves an advantage by knowing where they're going to be at pretty much all times. Uh, now when it comes to some of these other score streaks, and I know, I know that a lot of you guys love running like the wraps and the GI unit and, and some of these higher score streaks, you run a really high risk of ruining spawn traps and making it a lot more difficult to get these streaks over and over again. Reason being, when you call in these streaks, they don't care where the enemy team is. They're going right into the spawn. A lot of times, you know, you're telling your teammates don't push too far in because we want to keep them spawning it. Like, for example, A flag, Raps and GI unit, they don't care. <laughs> they're going right to the enemy team, and they're going to end up ruining your spawns, and that's what's going to make the enemy spawn behind you. So try to run streaks that aren't necessarily going to affect where the player spawns. And I know a lot of you guys don't realize this, but Hellstorms and Lightning Strikes are just as bad, especially Lightning Strikes. And the reason for that is when a whole team spawns, I like to use Nuketown as an example, because it's such a small map but when the enemy team spawns all together in the back of nuketown and you just happen to call in that lightning strike then and you kill maybe two three maybe even four guys you're killing all of these people in the very back of their spawn and the game mechanics are all right they just died where they literally just spawned we're gonna flip the spawns and that's how they spawn behind you and start ruining everything and ruining streaks and just pissing you off so be smart if you're gonna use lightning strikes if you're gonna use hellstorms use them when the enemy is out of their spawn if their entire team is in the back of the map and you call these in you're going to flip the spawns no doubt about it so be smart with the score streaks you run uavs and haters are definitely the way to go you'll be able to see where they're at at all times and uh, it'll make it really really easy to hold a spawn trap second thing make sure you're in a good trap location find figure out where on the map the enemy team is going to spawn and try to lock it down i know this sounds basic but so many people try to start spawn traps in the most random places ever and it just never works because the sp it's not meant for the enemy team to spawn there the whole game so know where you're trying to trap the other team and use your teammates to help you out you know if you're playing with friends make sure they know not to run in the back of the map and screw you up which is another tip that i have don't push too much don't push the spawns too much you're trying to keep them in the same location people think that you just have to keep pushing all the way back you push too hard they're going to spawn behind you and then you're just going to throw everything off but when it comes to trap locations guys the best thing that you can do is figure out what map you're playing on and figure out which side is hardest to get out of a spawn trap a lot of times the maps go from like up to down uh, i can't think of one off the top of my head right now but a lot of the maps aren't level right like you have an advantage on one side of the map so pick that side of the map you know like pick like i think stronghold is one of the ones stronghold it goes from up to all the way down the hill like on the mountain the snowy mansion or whatever you know you want to be on top of the hill you want to be coming down on people right you don't want to be pushing up the hill so the best spawn traps are when you're coming down when you're looking down on them because then they have to push up so uh, basically what i'm trying to say is guys just know the map that you're playing on and know which side is going to be a lot more challenging to get out of a spawn trap Last but not least, use an overpowered assault rifle. And what do I mean by overpowered assault rifles? Run hella attachments. When it comes to spawn trapping, your perks don't matter, right? Perks are just kind of like extra advantages, like ghost might help you stay off the radar, afterburner might help you move around a lot quicker. You know, those are going to be useful for other types of videos, for other different things that you're going to be trying to do in the game. But when it comes to holding a spawn trap, having an overpowered gun is super crucial. So run as many attachments as you can. You want to have a super deadly weapon, right? You want to be able to win every single gunfight. Now, because we're running, uh, because we're spawn trapping and we're literally not moving, we're just sitting there shooting people that are trying to run out of their spawn, we don't need any perks. There's no reason to have any perks. We don't need blast suppressor. We don't need dead silence because they know where we're at. They know our whole team is right there spawn trapping them. So make your assault rifle overpowered. Highly recommend guns like the Man of War, the KN44. You'll do really, really well. Um, again, you know, like high caliber, long barrel. These are like attachments that are going to be very, very useful when it comes to doing really, really well in spawn traps. But anyway, guys, th those are all the tips that I have for today. If you guys have any extra tips, make sure to leave them down below so we can check them out and use them to our advantage. Uh, but again, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see all you guys in the next video.